26-yard line, and they have a chance now to get on offense and do, and uh, run some multiple ball handling situations. Okay, White House left and right this time, and somebody jumped. I don't know if it was the offense or defense, but Rams have uh, gone into the actually into the backfield of of the uh, Falcons that time before the ball was snapped, and I think this one might go against Firestone. No indication yet. Good. Okay. It was just quick defense. <laughs> okay. the The snap was uh, the snap was fumbled. That's what uh, caused it to look like somebody was offside. And there's a loss of a yard on the play. So it's second and eleven. Buckner throwing down the right sideline. It is nearly picked off. Came close to being a reception and also close to being a completed pass. Very fine coverage on the part of uh, Twitty and Hubbard on that play is uh, Butner uh, going for the deep shake pattern and uh, not a bad call. If you're going to throw from deep in your own territory, I like that call, Bob. You throw the ball deep because if it's intercepted, it still has the effect of a punt. He was trying to hit Julius Griffin out on the uh, pattern that time. Griffith, a uh, young man uh, who we haven't seen prior to today, just a 140-pound uh, junior, has made some big receptions uh, for the Falcons uh, in this football game. He's wide to the right side. They've got Starks in the slot. It's third and 11. Firestone at its own 22-yard line. And here's Buckner going back to throw under a rush. Is hit and dropped at the 17-yard line. Well, a host of Rams in on the tackle. Right, in the defensive end, Shane Johnson really poured through there that time, coming in from the uh, uh, offside, and Butner really was uh, fortunate to get away from him, but then he couldn't get away from uh, the fine nose guard, Diarra Lotti, who finally wrestled him to the ground, uh, as you mentioned, Bob, uh, near the uh, 17th. And defensive tackle Stan Hoiston was also there. I'm sorry, the 12-yard line. Keith Malik into punt, standing at his goal line. No rush to speak of. Here's the punt, hits at the Firestone 36, gets a Falcon bounce, it rolls across the midfield stripe, and rolls inside the 45-yard line to about the 44 of Garfield, where the Rams will put it in play once again. Very fine coverage uh, by the Falcons uh, on that punt formation with uh, Murphy getting downfield, along with Hugh Young, the 170-pound junior, providing excellent punt coverage and uh, getting the punt out to the Garfield uh, 44. Now the defense, Sir Firestone, can get out back on that field again. At least they had a little breather that time, Bob, although for some of them who both, both ways, there there is no time to relax. White wide to the left and Lewis wide to the right. Pat Anderson in the slot of the left side this time for the Rams of Coach Bill McGee, who are trying to win yet another Turkey Day game, and they're facing quite a challenge here by Firestone. Pass picked off, I believe, yes, at the 40-yard line. I know who it is. It's Mr. Kistler once again with his second interception of the ball game. I'll tell you, Bob, that young man does an excellent job of reading the offense, looking at the quarterback's eyes, and I'm telling you, he knows where the play's going and where the ball's going to be thrown. He got up in the air... Uh, after getting good dip in the hook zone and made a tremendous interception and now Firestone on their own 40-yard line, I think they have good control of this football game. Well, when he grows up, he wants to be Chris Spielman. Come to think <laughs> of it, I think he is uh, pretty much grown up. So, yeah, young man, very, very fine two-way football. Good look at athlete, 215-pound senior, Kistler, from the 40. Firestone ball, pitch to the fullback. Davis cross the 45 to the 47 and second and three coming up for Firestone after a gain of about seven by the fullback, Damon Davis. Damon Davis showing the ability to get outside, and that's no easy task when you have somebody like Sean Marsh playing the defensive uh, end for the Golden Rams. Uh, Marsh uh, able finally to make the tackle after Davis was slowed up by Lehman, but not before the young man gets seven yards on the play. Okay, Firestone with the ball. The Falcons have it close to their 47, between the 46 and 47-yard lines. Two wideouts on the right side. For the uh, quarterback, Brandy Buckner, who's gone all the way. Here's the give to the running back, and he's cut down. No gain on the play. Give that time to Eric Harris, the 165-pound senior. It'll be third down, and short yardage coming up here for Firestone. Well, Martin finally, uh, finally made a tackle on the play, but Lehman getting penetration forced the runner inside to Martin, and then, of course, Martin made the tackle. No gain on the play, as you mentioned, Bob. Big third and three situation coming up. Okay, here's the sophomore Griffin, wide to the right side. They send, uh, they put Nate Moore in the slot on the right side. 
And here's the pitch back to the fullback, Davis. Cross the midfield stripe. First down, 45, 43-yard line of Garfield. Well, that pitch play, a toss sweep to the left that time. And uh, Harris, uh, the lead back on the play, doing a good job of kicking out on a defensive end for the Rams, allowing Davis to cut up inside, find a little running room in the seam, and get the first down in Garfield territory to the 43-yard line. 8-11 remaining in this fourth quarter. Boy, the second half is going in a hurry. And uh, too fast if you're on the Garfield side. I'll tell you that right now. Much too fast because the Falcons are running the football now and killing some of the clock. All right, and they have a first out in Garfield territory. And here's the give. Good, hard running up the middle for Harris that time inside the 40-yard line. About three, maybe four yards straight ahead. Harris has done a, a very, very fine job for Firestone in this football game uh, this morning, both offensively and defensively. Just a 165-pound senior, but I'll tell you, he has done uh, some kind of a, a job both uh, running the football, blocking for his running mates, and also defensively making some key plays today for the Falcons. Made more wide to the right, second and six at the Garfield 39 for Firestone. Here's the give to the running back, and a couple of yards this time for, again, uh, Mr. Harris. Cut down after a gain of about two. It's going to be third down coming up at about four for a Firestone first down. And Harris really took a shot that time from the inside linebacker, Martin. Derek Martin, a very fine uh, performer at that position for Garfield. He's a senior. Uh, they're going to lose him 180 pounds, and I'll tell you, he really unloaded on Harris. Uh, didn't get his arms around him that time, but really uh, threw a hard forearm into him that uh, caused Harris to just uh, get down to the turf after just gaining about three yards on the play. Just under the seven-minute mark to go in this one. Here's the give. Good yardage inside the 35 down to the 30. That's a Firestone first down as the Falcons will retain possession here as the fullback Davis just picked up a very important first down. Well, he certainly did. Uh, they, did they run a wide slot formation to the right on that third and fourth situation and then uh, of course uh, crossed the Rams up by uh, hitting Davis uh, right over the center of the line. Uh, Davis getting a big first down and more important Bob the time is starting to click off that scoreboard. Okay, it's a first down at the 30-yard line of Garfield. Here's the give, and nothing doing this time as the Rams were waiting for that play as Buckner handed off to his uh, running back. And that time it was Donnie Cantrell. Cantrell, who is uh, not seeing nearly as much action as he did in the semifinal victory against North. A lot of he uh, coming through, uh, shooting the gap, making the tackle that time uh, for the Rams. And De'Ara a lot, he playing a very fine game from that nose guard uh, position today. No gain on the play from the Garfield 30-yard line, but the clock continues to run here in the fourth quarter. Under the six-minute mark now. Firestone with the ball, second and ten at the 30. Here's the give. Harris fighting for yardage. Got about a yard to the 29, but that's all. The defensive left side of Garfield is waiting for him. Strangely, Bob, this is the longest drive uh, the Falcons uh, have had in this football game. They've taken the ball from their own 40 down to the uh, Garfield just inside the 30 or 2 to 30. Uh, the drives for the scores were just 32 yards and 12 yards. And here, of course, they are driving, uh, conducting one of those time-consuming drives, hoping to keep it going and kill some of that clock third and about nine for Firestone now well, that shows you the importance of turnovers that's why they had short drives on their two scoring plays pitch to the fullback Davis tries the right side of the sweep gets inside the 25 to about the 24 but it'll be a fourth down now facing the Falcons well that was a toss sweep to the right that time with Davis who got the ball down to about the 24 yard line but they're still about four yards short and the clock running with 4.39 remaining in this one. We're in the fourth quarter. All the scoring in the first half and all by Firestone in the first quarter. A 22-yard field goal by Stan Kenner. Out of the second quarter, Damon Davis, an 11-yard run. Both those scores coming following turnovers. First, it was a uh, fumble by Garfield. And on the second one, it was the interception by Phil Kistler. The 
first interception by Kistler. Running back, Davis, fullback, first down. Inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Well, that time they put Davis in a left-hand position, and from that position, uh, he ran the slant play to the right, right off the center right guard, or a little cross action and, in the blocking, and Davis uh, getting a big first down, and that is a key play, Bob. Okay, it's first and 10 for Firestone at the 16 of Garfield. Not only is Firestone running the clock, they're threatening to get another score here, very definitely. This has been an impressive drive, and the play calling has been excellent. Well, they've had a very, they, they are tremendously prepared for this football game. Make no uh, bones about it. Here's the give, and there's the fullback, and he's got good yardage inside the 15 to about the 11. A gain of five, and second and five coming up for Firestone. Hey, Damon Davis uh, running the football, really doing a good job. Uh, running laterally and picking out the daylight. Uh, that time the blocking wasn't that exceptional. It was just him uh, running where they ain't, so to speak, and he still picked up about four yards. Three and a half minutes remaining and the clock running here in the fourth quarter. And Firestone in no particular hurry. They're on top, 10 to nothing. What a performance by the Falcons in this one against a very, very fine Garfield football team, a team that came into this one favored to win it. Pitch to the fullback. Davis again tries the left side. Loose ball inside the 10. There's a pileup. Who's got it? Garfield, I believe. Garfield has come up with the ball on a big defensive play as they hit Davis, and then somebody, one of the Rams, fell on that ball Stan, at about the nine. Stan Hoiston, the big defensive tackle, came up with the football for the Rams that time, and it's given them uh, life because uh, Garf if uh, Firestone goes, drives in and scores, this football game's over, but now as it is, still three minutes left, and the Rams on their own ten. Very, very difficult for them to pull this one out, but at least they they have a chance. And we're right down to the three-minute mark just now as the Rams come up to the line of scrimmage facing a 10-0 deficit. They've got a first down at their own nine-yard line. Two wide outs to the left. Lewis, the wide man. Wide in the slot. And here's Sims to throw. Looking left. Nobody open. Now somebody is over the middle. Lewis caught it at the 26. First down. Garfield at their own 26-yard line. Hit immediately. Now the uh, Rams now in their... Uh hurry up offense or they should be because uh, they don't have all kind of time left in this football game and they're 75 yards away from Pater. Exceptional catch by Lewis showing some fine athletic ability getting up into the air with the crowd and coming down with that football. 2.40 to go. Wide outs left and right for Sims. Straight back to throw. Looking downfield. Lobbing it for Lewis. Way downfield. Picked off at the 40-yard line. Making the defensive play there and a big one. Defensive back Keith Malik for Firestone. And the Falcons have come up with yet another turnover on the third interception of the day for Firestone. Oh, well, of course, the Falcons, uh, Bob, loosening up on defense knowing that uh, Gar Field must uh, throw the football, and of course they did. They did go for the downs, and Malik, uh, the fine athlete that he is, came up with a big interception to thwart that uh, Garfield drive, and now it appears that Firestone may uh, share the city championship, uh, Bob, uh, this year, and dethrone uh, the Rams from that uh, ring. 2.25 remaining in this one. This day has been a bright one right along, and it's getting brighter and brighter for Firestone. Here's the give, and a big hit on the running back, the fullback. I'll tell you, the uh, Rams may be down right now, but the way that defense is playing and the way uh, Palmer came through there from his inside linebacker position and made the tackle, you, wouldn't, you, you know they're not quitting, that's for sure. Well, I'll tell you, it's just been an outstanding performance by these Firestone Falcons. Garfield has, by no means, in my opinion, played poorly in this one. They haven't, Bob, but Firestone just has not made any mistakes. They have played good control football in this game today. All right, here's the uh, handoff to Harris. Tries the right side for a couple of yards. Back close to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and about ten coming up for Firestone. But the important thing is that we're down right now to a minute and a half remaining in this one with the clock continuing to run and Firestone leading it over Garfield 10 to nothing. Two interceptions by Phil Kistler. Firestone also had a big fumble recovery leading to their first score, the field goal by Kenner. And of course this fourth quarter interception by Keith Malik. Three interceptions and a fumble recovery for Firestone today. Here's the give up the